Hello ladies and middle gen and welcome to another Merc and Tank review and today we are looking at the M4A3 E2 the Merc and tier 6 medium tank so is it any good? well the best way how to describe this tank is a Comet the tier 6 because basically that is exactly what it is so is it any good? of course it's good it's like a Comet only in tier 6 the gun is a bit worse, but the armor is better, and it's around the same speed. Let's start with the speed, in fact. As you see, it's not very fast. It goes around 35, 36 on the flat ground. Uh, so tanks like KU-1SS can easily overtake these things. And that's one of the issues with the tank, because if you have a medium tank that's slower than a heavy, then it's not really a medium tank, is it? And, uh, well, at least you get compensated with some armor. The frontal plate of this thing is really, really good. So the front light plate is 102 millimeters of armor, it's sloped as well and you can angle it, so you can get a lot of effective armor out of that front plate. Problem is that the side armor is not, well it's alright, it's 76 millimeters, it's not horrible but it's not very good either. And, well what you're looking at here is something like a German tier 7, well it's basically better armored than a Tiger, the German tier 7 heavy tank, so the speed doesn't seem that bad anymore if you compare it to the Tiger. But uh, the turret is not that great. Turret, the you have to have the top turret to mount the top gun, and without the top gun, the tank is completely useless. So you have to have the turret, but the top turret is worse than the stock one. So it's a bit of an issue. But it's the, the gun metal is still pretty good, and I mean you don't really want to get shot in this tank at all, anyways. Talking about the turrets, in theory you can have the stock turret that has 152 armor, which is really really good for a tier 6 medium tank. But it will not allow you to mount the top gun, and the gun you will be able to mount is uh, is not bad, but it suffers a lot in DPM compared to the top gun. So it's your choice. You can take top gun. You can can just stick with the stock turret and the stock gun. Uh, well, not the stock gun, but the stock 76 mm uh, gun, because. The 105 there doesn't work after a nerf, it's only 100 penetration, so you'll have a lot of trouble if you shoot heat. But it's 100 penetration with heat, and with HE, well, it's a tier 7, you'll be facing a lot of high tiers, so it will be kind of an issue. As well, you can see now with the 76mm gun that has only 128 penetration, which is really bad for a tier 6 medium. I have 10 gold shells, and why, why 10? Well, I could have had more. Like really, th this tank requires you to shoot gold, especially when you get into your eight games. There's nothing like you will see. In, I I can't penetrate nice sides with a normal ammo when he's angling, so there's not much to it. Like if I can't pen my enemy sides, I will just have to load the gold, and there's no way around it. But I limit myself only go ten gold shells, and I try to not use them every game. But then again, if I have to, I will. And the penetration isn't the only thing where this gun is lacking. The the, pen, uh, the uh, accuracy is 0.4, which is pretty bad, and the aiming time is 2.3, which is not great either. But aiming time isn't that big of a problem because the tank is really slow, so you don't have to aim that much at the first shot, and the, it aims faster than it shoots, so it, then it reloads. Even though the reload is pretty good as well, 2.8 seconds, so the difference between reload and the aiming time is not that big, so. It, this tank could be basically sit stationary and be aimed and just unload on people without any trouble. As you could see, the I couldn't really penetrate the IS sides properly, only one of two shots penetrated. And I couldn't penetrate the BK as well, I could have aimed at the big spots on the BK, but I couldn't be bothered to do it. To be honest, I need to get rid of him before the IS comes and shoots me, because I'm a one shot kill for him and I cannot mess around now. Because this game can still be saved, and it will be. And then there is the gun depression, minus 10 degrees, which is a lot, and I really mean a lot. You can, you can, you should abuse the gun depression whenever you can, because it will expose the least of your tank. The turret armor is not great, but then again, you want to count on your enemies missing, not bouncing off your turret. So that's a really nice way to play this tank as well, going hull down. And yeah, where did that shell go? But as you see, I couldn't penetrate his sides with one shell when he was angling just a bit because tracks plus his side armor didn't, didn't really well my penetration wasn't good enough 
And as you see, this game is slipping away. There's not much. Well, there seems to be not much we can do about it, but the, me plus that 87, we could still pull it off. So how to unstuck this? Use the torsion bars if you have to. Uh, get the... Well, you, you can, I guess, stick with the stock turret. I mean, it's up to you. Get the engines. Get the 76mm gun. 76mm gun, one of them will work. The, the the one with the stock turret will work, but you want to get the top one because the DPM is like 4 rounds per minute more and that's quite a lot. And yeah, here I played pretty damn bad and this, this next half minute to minute I took some really bad shots and this gun, well it's not accurate, it's not meant for snapping and the penetration is not good enough for snapping. So you want to get closer and... What the fuck is that? Like uh, playing like a scrub. Then again, I should just should have just driven driven forwards without stopping and just taking position where I can actually shoot them. And for equipment, since the gun is uh, has such a low alpha, I'd rather stick with spotting. So coated optics, binos, and rammer. That's my equipment. You might consider ventilation, but I really don't think that this gun is good enough to use ventilation or gun length driver or anything like that. That that I don't really don't really think that it will benefit me more than the optics. For crew skills, the standard six cents repairs, uh, smooth ride for American tanks and later on will be really nice, we'll be able to hit everything. And the accuracy on the bubble on this tank is pretty good as well, as you can see now, you can get some lucky shots with it. But yeah, well, that's American thing, I guess, they are really good at the boo. Well, and how to play this? Well, basically there's two ways, either flank or go hold down. Because going straight against your enemies with this thing, it's not very fast, so it's not very good flank here. And you don't, don't want to shoot your enemies in the front and you don't want to be exposed to everything. That front armor is good, but then again, you can meet, meet a lot of people, a lot of tanks with higher penetration than your armor can handle. And the penetration limit is around 150, 160 is the limit. Then from where the enemies will start to penetrate you, like killing comets in this tank is just joy. They can't fucking pen you if they don't use gold, and that's so funny that that's a tier seven tank and it can't pen you, and you can pen comet all day with your crappy 120 mm, 8 mm penetration. Even if it's all down, because comet's cupola is huge compared to this thing. And yeah, well, this game still looks bad, but it looks way better than it just did, so it's not that bad, I guess. And here I get some lucky shots. This should not have gone in. This, this should not have gone in. This was our, about right. I mean, it's a KV-1. Nobody should be able to pen it. And this was lucky as well. <laughs> really lucky. Three shots. And yeah, it looks even better now. But no worries, IS2 will mm, make his best efforts to try to sabotage this game, so it's not over yet. You can't put a derp on this tank, but you will have a bad time with it. It's not a good gun for the tier. And now I'm just being careful and trying to, to make the KV-1S come for me instead of going for him. Because he can one-shot me and I can definitely cannot one-shot shit with this tank. So just be patient and waiting. And there he is, little bastard. And this guy is really stupid. He was writing some bombshell in the chat. And look at the eyes to The eyes to just gonna get his face ripped off by the SU and by the KV1S. I drive backwards to shoot the SU, but the KV1S pops out and kills the IS2. And this makes the situation complicated. And basically, if this KV1S wasn't a complete 8, it will be really hard. Like, what are you thinking? My reload is 2.8 seconds, yours 13. How can you reload faster than I will? That's just stupid. Well, then again, KV1S is what can you do? That's why they are so OP, because there's so many idiots driving them. Whatever. That's you. Well, there's two ways I can kill him. Either he has to look at the 87 and shoot or he has to miss me and he does and now I know that I have like 15 seconds time to get behind him and I'm gonna use that time to do exactly that and once you're behind an SU there's nothing he can do at all look at that turn to track reverse there's nothing he can do and of course Russian strong ancient deck armor epic angle but still from ancient deck you would expect overmatch, but then again, this is a really small shell, so I guess overmatch is not in there. 
with the menu. Well, there's another kill. Five kills so far. 3k damage. Tier 7 game. What's up? Is it as good as the, the Hellcat? No, it definitely isn't. And I'm gonna speed up because this will just take too long. It's not as good as the Hellcat because the well, the only thing it gets over the Hellcat is the hull armor, but the Hellcat gets uh, better turret. Uh, it gets way, 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 way better gun. So, Hellcat all the way. But this is a competent medium tank. It's a good tank, and in tier, when it's top tier, it's really strong. And when you're the on, one of the only top tiers, you uh, can have a good game. And this I will. Perfect timing. <laughs> He decided to leave the base just when I was coming and he turned his back to me, so this is GG, he, he's not gonna take a shot on me. So yeah, 6 kills, 3.3k damage, tier 7 game, what's up? So yeah, as you see, it's a good tank, but it makes you work your ass off for your damage. It's not like a Hellcat, you shoot 10 times and you do 2k damage. This thing, I fired 50 times and I hit like 40 something, 46, most of them, some of them didn't penetrate, but still. 46 hits and all 3k damage. That's quite sick. But oh well, it's a capable tank and it's not really a painful grind. It's an alright tank. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one.